you goofball. We're about to leave to go to some wineries for the weekend. Baron doesn't want to be left behind, so he jumped up here and got into that bag and walked over and got onto the dog bed and then fell over into my work cart, which is where you saw the video start there. Don't worry, Baron, you're coming with us. You're going to go to Grandma's house and stay with Grandma and Lily. You too, Roxy. Vincent is going to stay here because it's just a one-night trip. She'll be fine. I left her plenty of food and water. You see what I mean? He just did it again. He jumped into the wagon. He says, you guys are not leaving me here. We're in the car. Baron is here. Roxy is there. She's been back there crying, whining because she wants up front. But they're not getting up front today. And we are here about to fly over Houston in our vehicle. Here's a uh, aerial shot. Actually, we're out in Katy, not Houston. And that's where we came from back there in the distance. You can see the skyline way, way back there heading to my mom's house to drop off the dogs. So my mom and sister and her husband went on a cruise recently and we're at my mom's house right now and we got presents. The boyfriend got this guitar pick made out of mahogany from uh, my sister and her husband. And then they got me this little notebook from Belize. It has a uh, notebook and pen inside very pretty bright colors and then my mom got me this brazilian turquoise necklace set in sterling silver made in belize you said yes. yeah yeah i love that color it's beautiful very very pretty thanks mom you're welcome bye roxy i'll see you later you have fun with grandma this weekend bye baron oh he's not gonna talk oh okay Never mind. guard. I don't know how those keep cattle. It seems like if I was a cow I could figure out a way around that. Cows are dumb. I think cows get a bad rap. Oh I'm gonna try my flip screen and see myself here. Hello. Welcome to my vlog where I can see myself and I can tell if I'm in focus and in the frame with my fancy new vlogging camera. We're at Peach Creek Vine Vineyards Winery. What does it say? Vineyards. And um, we're on the chocolate and wine trail on the Texas Blue Bonnet wine trail. So the Texas Blue Bonnet wine trail are all the trails that are closest to Houston. And then throughout the year, they have specialty trails where they pair wine with food. And this is the chocolate pairing because it's around Valentine's Day here in February. So this is our first stop. We're gonna do three wineries today and then spend the night in Brenham, Texas, and then do another three tomorrow. Let's go hang out with our donkey friend. Hello, donkey friend. Do y'all remember seeing him? He's tied up to the post here so he can't get away. Nice donkey. While we're waiting for the vineyard to open, I've walked out on the trail here on the little road coming in. I'm just gonna show you the cattle guard. So here it is, in case you're not familiar. Yeah, I guess they wouldn't be able to get across there. That's, um, let me show you the size of my foot in comparison. So yeah, they'd get their feet caught in that. And it seems though like they could figure out that they could just walk right there and go around it. But I'm not a cow, so I don't know. This is how the vineyards look in February. Not much going on, at least to the eye. Cheers. What did you get? White hair, it's an off dry reason. Ah, 
I got a sweet sparkling. It says the wine trail hours are 11, so y'all need to go ahead and change that. This is a chocolate almond joy cake with vanilla icing paired with a Merlot. Oh, it has a red wine reduction sauce on top too. Pretty decadent. Apparently birds like to follow me around and make annoying noises. We're in College Station, that's where Texas A&M University is. So this is interesting, it's, we've never been here before. This is the only one of the six wineries we have not visited because this one is new on the wine trail, Perrine Winery. It's in this industrial warehouse kind of thing and there's some more warehouses around down here and there's a brewery and a whiskey distillery. Look at me, I'm a peacock. All right, our first pairing is a blackberry wine. It's called Perrine, not Perrine Winery. And that's gonna be paired with this chocolate that has the blackberry wine inside of it. All right, second wine is a pomegranate wine and that is paired with this red velvet cupcake with white chocolate. pulling into Messina Hof. This is our favorite winery on the wine trail. This is their restaurant. And over there is the tasting room. And, oh, and over there is their bed and breakfast. And, and over there are the vineyards. Well, we're at Messina Hof now, and this is the first wine. It's a sparkling Moscato. And the Moscato is paired with some kind of cake ball. Cheers. Now that we have a the second glass is this barrel reserve port. I got. Are you okay? Are you gonna make it? Are you gonna live? I don't know. Choking on your Morvedra? <laughs> I don't know if I can handle my, my liquor. <laughs> How is your Morvedra? It's very nice. It's very soft. Mm -hmm. The boyfriend is very good at grape describing, wine describing, and he can tell us like, so what's the verdict? Uh, this was picked on a Wednesday uh -huh. by a right-handed myopic woman. Okay. Who was having tax problems. Oh dear. <clears throat> had a severe headache that caused her to pay more attention to the grapes. Okay going on the hunt for turtles. Let's see. What? You pointed? You see a turtle? There are grapevines back there. We found a turtle. The turtle hunt is over. Well, we both dug into this before I remembered to film. It's a little crostini, fig, and goat cheese. It's wrapped in prosciutto and it has some kind of... Is that the raspberry it's balsamic? Ship. All right, this is our little hotel room in Brenham. We're at the Coach Light Inn, which had really good reviews on TripAdvisor. And uh, it is not fancy at all. Just want to say that. When we go on a vacation, I pick out a little nicer place to stay, but this is not a vacation. This is just a quick little weekend trip, and we decided last minute to stay um, overnight, so just to save some gas instead of driving back to Houston. So we're staying at a cheap place. This was about $70 or $80 for the night. And uh, yeah, this will be just fine to sleep for one night and take a shower and then hit some more wineries tomorrow. It is Sunday morning now. I'm gonna go into the bathroom. I don't, well, actually the light was okay right there. Maybe I'll just stand right there. I was gonna say there's just not good lighting in here, but this is okay. Um, I'm gonna set it down like that on the dresser thing. The people next door, they just left, finally. <laughs> it is 8.23 right now and 
they had this giant diesel truck, pickup truck that was sitting outside of our room, it was right in front of our room, and they had it running since 7.30. They had it running for an hour and it's very loud. We were up at six, so it didn't wake us up, but I mean, who does that? Why would you leave your truck running for an hour? And especially on a Sunday morning at a hotel at 7.30 in the morning when you know there are people around you who are trying to sleep or who don't want to hear a loud diesel at 7.30 in the morning on a Sunday. That is ridiculous. Why are people so inconsiderate? I don't understand this. I always think about how what I'm doing affects the people around me. I just don't get it. Anyway, rant over. Like I said, we've been up since six. The boyfriend got up and left. He went on a photo shoot. He'd heard there was some fog this morning, so he went to a cemetery and photographed that. And I stayed here and got dressed and watched a few YouTube videos. It's where we're heading for breakfast, the Brenham Grill. They've got some cool murals around here. There's this one, and there's that one, and this one over here I'm gonna zoom in on has this lady and a big bear. We got here a little early today. The wine trail doesn't start until noon and we're here at about 11.40. The boyfriend is out taking photographs and I got a glass of wine to sit here and enjoy. So we're at Saddlehorn Winery. We've got our first sample for the wine trail, which is the Blanc du Bois. And that's paired with this wood-fired pizza. And it has this um, mole sauce with roasted chicken and red onions. It looks pretty good. This is wine number two. It's the Merlot. We just saw those people at Saddlehorn. That chick has such a cute outfit. She has leather pants and this really nice white shirt with this fuzzy sleeveless vest thing. And uh, I couldn't tell what her handbag was. I've been looking at everybody's handbags. I figured if anybody has a nice handbag, it's gonna be her. Grapevines, cows. This is one of the first Texas wineries we came to, at least on the Blue Bonnet Wine Trail. Pleasant Hill Winery. I love the rustic look of it. And then their kind of accent color is purple. So they have these purple rugs and flowers and purple in the t-shirts. All right. All righty. Kalina Bianca. It's a sweeter white grapes that grow well around here. Then the second tasting, I'm going to prepare a brownie for you and a chocolate sauce and uh, pair it up with a double oak port. These wine barrels are pretty cool. I'd like to just do some filming of things like moving photography instead of feeling like I have to narrate mm -hmm. and just have shots like at the end of... Um, it's that show we watch Sunday morning on CBS, where in the last minute or two, they have these shots where there are no man-made sounds and it's just footage of nature. And this isn't nature, but it's still pretty. The colors and textures. That lady with the, um, what did I call it, a fur vest, fuzzy vest, she was just out here and I got a look at her purse. It was a Tory Burch, it was very pretty. A kind of a quilting to it. Mystery solved. This is the Tawny Rosa Forte. Double oak, black spinach, his favorite grapes. 
And we've got some tables up front if you want to sit up there, and then I'll be right up there with you. Yeah. Yeah. To, 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 so your breath. <laughs> This is our second pairing. It's a tawny port with this brownie and blueberries and strawberry with a little chocolate heart. Doggy. Don't talk to the doggy, it's a service dog. Doggy. Headed toward the tasting room now at winery number six on the trail. This will be our last stop this weekend. And this is Texas Star Winery. This is a Chardonnay. The grapes are from Washington. Everything else here is Texas grown. And it's paired with a, was it a strawberry cardamom? What did she say? Strawberry and white chocolate. She said cardamom for sure, but that's the chocolate, so we'll taste that. Oh, and this was our sixth winery, so we got our little prize, the heart wine stopper. Okay, I don't normally hear about hats, but this was pretty funny. Here's the second wine. I missed what it was. Something red with some dark chocolate with uh, stuff in it. So that was our last winery. We're gonna head to a cemetery that the boyfriend went to photograph at this morning. He wants to show it to me. It's a Confederate cemetery. And then we're gonna head to my mom's house, pick up the pups, and head home. There's the fuzzy jacket chick again. What are they doing here? We found the most giant ants in the world. Can you see them moving around there and carrying leaves and things? So what, what did you say, boyfriend? This is what you see on National Geographic. You were saying this is a monastic cemetery? No. Masonic. Ma Masonic. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of a difference there, yeah, eh? Yeah, this is where all the Confederate <laughs> monks are buried. It's really interesting going to cemeteries and seeing mm -hmm. even just the visuals and and the way things are done because yeah. you were just talking about we have that cemetery in Houston called Glenmont, yeah. is that it? Where Howard Hughes is buried and there are a lot of really wealthy people there and there are a lot of these kinds of family plots where they have walls around them and it's not just walls, it's like very fancy, intricate, bricked structures and architecture and landscaping it's really beautiful it's interesting i used to go to cemeteries when i was in high school to photograph the sculptures and things Ready to go home? Let's go there. Okay, let's go home.
Let's go see Vincent. Hello, Vincent Bird. How are you? How have you been? How was your weekend? Hi. Hi. What a good bird. We missed you.